Okay, this is going to be a review of acids and naming acids. So remember the question that you start with um, on this is, does the anion contain oxygen? And remember, just to review, the anion is the negative component of uh, the compound. So if it does not contain oxygen, we're going to name it hydro, the root, and then ic, and then we always tack acid onto the end of it. If it does have oxygen, we're going to change the ending a little differently, but it depends on what the polyatomic ion's ending is. If the polyatomic ion ends in ITE, we're going to change it to OUS and add acid. If it ends in ATE, we're going to change it to IC and end it in acid. So remember, 8 becomes ic, like you ate and it made you sick. So 8 becomes ic, it becomes us. Notice the big difference between these is we don't start the ones with the um, polyatomic ions or the oxygen containing components. We do not start those with the word hydro. We only start the ones without oxygen in them with the word hydro. So when you go backward uh, from the name of the acid back to the formula, then you should be able to recognize that, hey, if this has hydro in front of it, I shouldn't end up with uh, oxygen in it. So let's just run through a couple of examples real quick. Um, so for example, if I have um, H3PO4, uh, the biggest obstacle that you have is to say, hey, it's an acid. And how do I know that? Because it starts with at least one hydrogen. So it's an acid. So does the anion contain oxygen? So the PO4 is the anion portion, and yes, it does. So I need to check the ending. So when I look up PO4, I know that that is phosphate. So I'm going to take phosphate, and I'm going to change that ending to ic. And this is one of the silly ones. Remember that we have to add the R to phosphoric, and then I just add acid. This tells me that there's hydrogen out in front because it ends in the word acid. So phosphoric acid. If we have H3P and we want to name it, we come up here and we say, does it have oxygen? And the answer is no, there's no oxygen in it here. So no. So I'm going to do hydro, and I'm going to take the anion root, which is phosphorus, and change it to phosphoric acid. And I know that these two look really, really similar, but the big difference that you notice is that this starts with hydro. This automatically tells me this element or this portion right here does not contain oxygen. And the fact that this acid does not start with hydro tells me that this does contain oxygen. And so that may help you go uh, backward to look at how to name uh, the acids. Again, make sure that you just put it in your head that if it starts with a hydrogen, that you're going to name it as an acid and try to remember your flowchart to follow the example.